Welcome to episode 7 of Foundation The Perfect Start. Now we have our cheese maker and we have our dairy farm and we have our brewery and our hop farm. Now I lost an hour's worth of footage so I am just showing everything that was added while uh, in the footage that I lost. So we have our dairy farm, I just showed you the cheese maker and if we scroll over here you can see all of our hops for our hop farm and our brewery next to our hop farm which allows us to make beer. Okay so over we go. We also have our pub as well and we have expanded our church and we have a treasury in our manor house. So we added a sub building in the manor house which is our treasury and we expanded our church. So as you can see we now have a capacity for 102 people within the church by adding the other building to the end and we have our treasury which expands our capacity by 570 coins. So we added two main buildings and a tower and a door. So that is our treasury on our manor house and you can see we also have uh, sculptors workshops on our builders workshops. So that's the white cloth roofs and that allows us to create sculptures. Okay, so that was also done in the footage that we lost and over here we have a warehouse with a log cutters camp who is cutting down the forest so that we can expand so later on we will get rid of the warehouse uh, or maybe keep the warehouse, haven't decided yet and also um, cut down the forest. So desirability, again we've got the red around the uh, lumber camp but not around the warehouse. So the warehouse can probably stay and we can expand our housing area. So as we go back across, again on the desirability front you can see all of the undesirable areas. And we have our pub there which is the double building which we started building anyway in the previous episode. So that is fine, didn't need to go too much over. We've also built a fountain in that residential area. But today what we're going to do is we're going to unlock hunting and we're going to add the extra food type to our markets. So here we go, we unlock decorative, we unlock dairy farming. We'd already unlocked common goods, we haven't done copperage yet. Uh, we also haven't unlocked the luxury market still, so that is fine. And there are a few other things that we still haven't unlocked. So we are renowned now, so we have mining taxes and additional taxation privilege. And we haven't unlocked the tavern kitchen uh, or the stonework for our manor house, so manor house stone architecture. However, that would be a good thing to unlock in a future episode and we will improve our manor house or build a new manor house and destroy the existing one or turn the existing sub-building into additional treasury space. I haven't decided yet. So again, going into our book, what we are going to want to do is have a look at what we want to unlock and we want to unlock hunting. So let's unlock it. Oh, we've got a newcomer approaching and our storage is full for something. Uh, so let's unlock hunting and that has unlocked a new building and a new painting area. So if we scroll over, there's our new little uh, hunter's hut. And on top of that, we now have to paint over forest a hunting zone. So reserves a forest area for hunting. So we want to find somewhere that we can mark for hunting. We're going to do two areas. So we're going to do this area over here first. So let's remove the extraction zone, get rid of the paint. There we go. So we've got this nice little copse of trees that we should be able to use for hunting. There we go. And mark it as a hunting zone. So there we go. Again, just draw it round, fill out the forest area. And then we want to go back to our build options and we want to uh, build. So let's go to food. So it narrows it down a bit. And then hunter's hut and we'll put that over here at the edge. So let's move that over a bit further because it does have a negative area of impact. So there we go, that looks quite good there, and build. Lovely stuff. Okay, so we've got our first hunter's hut and a hunting area. Now as I said, we're gonna do two, uh, but what we also need now is probably an additional granary to store um, the additional food type. 
because we've marked all the different food types so far. So let's build another granary and we'll put it in here. Or as you know, let's move it off to the side, I think, into the forest. That's fine because we don't need this forest area anyway. We've got plenty of wood. There we go and build. So that granary will now get built as well. And we'll be able to allocate boar into that granary. Now, one of the things I haven't figured out yet with the pub, and I do need to uh, look into this, is we have the br the serving area and the lounge, uh, but I don't tend to see people going in there. Now, whether that's because we have the wrong class of people at the moment uh, is probably up for debate. Um, I do need to do a little bit of research because my beer is not being consumed. Uh, so that's fine, but we do have a negative 15% uh, debuff for food variety at the moment. So it is something that I need to investigate. And once I understand the mechanics and everything else around it, I will put it into uh, the next episode uh, of this series as well. As you know, in all the previous episodes, I'm only showing you guys stuff that I'm entirely comfortable with the mechanics, how it works, how best to use it. Um, and how it helps the development of your village. Now this episode is going to run to about 18 minutes, uh, so not massive, uh, but at the same time we're showing plenty, um, so yeah, it's what it is. Okay, we've got two newcomers, that's good, because we're going to need those, because now we have four unemployed people, we're going to need to put some into the granary and some into our hunter's hut, so again, that's not finished yet. Uh, so that needs to be, it's nearly, there we go, let's add a hunter, lovely, so we now have a hunter hunting the forest for boar, which again I think seems to be an infinite resource as long as you have a small forest area for them to hunt in. So we'll add a couple of people, uh, there. in fact we'll use all of them, put them all into the uh, granary and then we want to allocate boar and we also want to allocate other resources, so let's just go with cheese. Uh, I don't know, hops maybe, or beer, and anything else, yeah, we could go with milk, there we go. So that's all the storage slots allocated, and our, there we go, we've already got a boar, so, and he's going to produce more resources, and we've had a merry fair, so we've got a nice happiness boost, lovely. So everyone's admired the craftsmanship of our markets and all of the stuff that is available for sale. So a positive result for that quest. Now we have our mandates available at our Great Hall. One of the other things we will do in this episode is um, scout the mineral deposit, so the middle one that we haven't yet uh, uncovered as that still needs to be uncovered. But first, let's expand our market. So we don't want a good stall, we want another food stall. Uh, I think over here to the left hand side is probably going to be a good location for it. There we go. And again, what colour tent? Let's go with blue. There we go. That's good enough. Drag it up so you can actually say build. And there we go. That will get constructed. Now we need to do the same with the other market of course. Uh, so we need to expand our second market and we need to add additional serfs uh, to work. Currently of course we have no additional serfs. And even by the end of this episode, I still will not have given uh, and added additional serfs to serve in the market for the new food type. Uh, we'll leave that for the next episode. Okay, so again, we want to establish another hunting area and we need to expand this market as well. So again, click on build, click on free build, click on one of your market benches, add a new food stall. Now, where do we want to put it? Yeah, uh, let's rotate it. I think, I think maybe along the edge of this path. Yeah, about there. I think that looks all right there, doesn't it? Okay, so we'll get that put in. Again, we'll get a roof put over it as well. Uh, funnily enough, I think it's going to be the blue one again, because the red's quite close. The rustic is next to it, so yeah, we're using the blue one again. Okay, well. Right, build, and there we go. So that one will now get built as well. And as soon as we can allocate the resource, we shall. And again, move over, have a look. So that one's being constructed. Good, let's rotate the camera back round because top down, uh, although good for looking at the layout, is uh, not as aesthetically pleasing. Okay, so our hunter is still busily working away. Good stuff. 
and there we go you see we've got four out of five market traders uh, so we do need to add two more so one to this market and one to the other and here is our pub so this double building here so we've got our bartender serving and we have a public lounge with a maximum attendance of 15 and we're fully stocked with 80 beer. Uh, again, doesn't seem to be getting consumed. Uh, I do need to uh, have a look and see if we can figure out the mechanic for this one. Uh, any thoughts on that, feel free to drop a comment below uh, before I publish the next episode. But by the time we get to the next episode, we will have sorted it out. So there's our coos, uh, so our cows in our dairy farm and our cheese maker is happily making cheese and has two in stock which will get moved to our market and again going back over let's have a look how everything's doing ah we have some more people that's handy because we're going to need them so i think now we can start thinking about getting our second hunting area in and again we've got that nice little fountain uh, in our second residential area but what we come across uh, in this episode and you'll notice that the notifications at the top is people struggling to find homes so we're going to need to edit that out as well right that's got one brewer so that's fully staffed so that's fine again we've still got two people that are unemployed so let's add another farmer see if we've got any other buildings there we go we've only got one weaver so let's go with two that's fully staffed Again, fully staffed, fully staffed, and fully staffed. Okay, good. And of course, the fisherman's fully staffed because you only need one person. And you'll see we've expanded our church there as well. So that has two main church buildings now. So we can happily uh, serve about 200 people, and we've got a population of 144. Now, residential, let's expand our residential area a little bit. You might be able to get a house in there again expand it over okay we've already got that area covered we could expand it off to the left a bit here so to here so let's expand there there we go moves into a bit of a less desirable area but that's fine and having a look at our main other residential area which we've got nothing allowed near the market of course so that we can keep expanding it uh, but we could add a little bit over there yeah maybe a little bit down into the trees there we go so that makes it a little bit bigger so that should allow people to hopefully find space to build another house okay right everything's looking good we're at 112 percent happiness as well which is nice i do like the graphics of this game i must admit i do like the game itself so foundation sculpture all we're missing is three sculptures now we have every other material needed uh, plus uh, we have our sculpture makers so i don't know why this hasn't been finished so again we have sculpture makers can't put any specific order on them to make sculptures they just have to do it and we have marble in stock as well uh, as you know we don't at the moment so that might well be the reason as to why they're not building the sculptures because all the marble that we got has been put into our um, construction uh, so maybe when the next delivery of marble arrives they'll actually start building the sculptures now we could also add additional resources but as you can see we only have glass and marble you don't have storage for sculptures so I think they're done on an ad hoc basis as and when you need them from marble, of course, or gold or whatever other materials it's needed to be built out of. Again, I do like the aesthetics. Right, let's just start assign the resource. So bore now that that's been done and again, go over to the other market store, which should have been built by now. Yep. And add bore but again we need to employ two more people and currently we don't have any spare people to employ so those food resources as of yet will not be sold on the market uh, but that's okay for now so this little forest area here i think will do for a hunter and what we'll need to do is mark it for hunting so i think here i think it looks like a good forested area so let's build and we want to go and we want to build a hunter's hut let's put it down at the corner here just about there 
that'll do nicely and build and now of course we need to paint so let's go paint and hunting zone and look it cancels out all of the cutting so that is now a hunting area and it will not be excavated for trees oh <laughs> didn't mean to do that let's cancel that one okay so we've now got our second hunting area and our second hunting lodge to be built now we just need some more people and we've got a courier who is uh, requesting an audience so we'll have a look at what he wants as well let's see where he is there he is less of a look uh, it's more beer for, for polished stone 50 polished stone for 50 beer nah I'm good thanks we've got 80 beer in stock we've got a brewery we've got a hop farm uh, we've got enough to make beer so I don't think we need it uh, in fact we built a well near our brewery as well because the brewery needs water so we put a well nearby so not interested the beer can wait okay so i think that takes us pretty much to where the town is as of today uh, we've got a couple of minutes of footage left uh, but we've done and gone through pretty much everything that i wanted to get through today other than the prospecting so what we want to do is prospect this middle all vein here because we don't know what it is yet so mandates now click on the geo tag and you will see which vein it is so it's this one here, this top one, and this is the one that we want to survey. So we'll get the surveying, uh, our bailiff to start surveying that mineral, and we will find out what it is in the not too distant future. Hopefully something else that we can actually build a mine for, because currently we still can't do gold. I presume we have to level up or unlock some more stuff uh, to be able to uh, do gold mining. But once we, are, we have gold mining, I presume our wealth starts to increase quite rapidly. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I will leave you to just watch the last couple of minutes of the footage. If you're enjoying this series and it has proved helpful, then please do subscribe to the channel and uh, feel free to check out some of my other content as well. I do play a lot of other games that are very similar. Uh, and if you've never heard of it or never played it before, I suggest you check out my Frostpunk um, footage. Uh, I will link that down in the bottom right hand corner after this episode. It's a city builder game, a very harsh survival city, city builder game. And Frostpunk 2 is uh, going to be coming out in the not too distant future, I hope. So one worth checking out. But until next time, all it leaves me to say, of course, is good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, and from me, Know It All Gaming, good night.